Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Each day I've selected a different composer, one that's had a role to play in both organizations. And today it's the African-American composer Moses Hogan, one of the great arrangers of any era. Born in 1957, he passed away in 2003 of a brain tumor. He was not only a composer, an arranger, he was a conductor and a pianist. He did 88 arrangements of spirituals and they're all fresh and wonderful arrangements. He really was the man who advanced the professional choral spiritual and revitalized the Negro spiritual tradition. Of course, there had been a tradition in the, before him. There had been a tradition to uh, arrange for chorus spirituals, but he really took it to a totally different higher level, always at the same time being grateful and honoring those such as Burley and others who had come before him. But his arrangements are very much of our time and they're wonderful arrangements to have. In 1995, Moses uh, came to Minneapolis. I invited him to be part of the Witness concert at Orchestra Hall. And for that concert, I said, I'd love to have a new spiritual. And the one he wrote for us, which I will always be thrilled that we have, is Elijah Rock. So I'm going to do a little bit of it. I can't give you the feeling that this has when you hear 50 or 100 or 150 singers giving you this kind of energy and enthusiasm for what Moses did. And of course he conducted, which was also wonderful. So at the beginning, the basses just keep saying, oh, e, li, ja, and the tenors go, you guys, you rock. And then finally, the altos come in and sing, come on, sister, help me to pray. Tell me, my Lord, done pass this way. So all of that happens before the melody that you know begins. So you get the idea of all that wonderful energy and it gets bigger and bigger. And finally at the end, it's one of those anthems where the soprano ones go. Up to high D and then in unison, as you come to the end, they go. Great music, wonderful. The choirs love singing that, and you can understand why. Well, among these 88, another favorite here at Vocal Lessons in Plymouth Church is his setting that he wrote for Anton Armstrong and the St. Olaf Choir, his setting of 
this little light of mine. And whereas many people know of it because it's really fast and, and uh, bouncy, his is very serene until near the end. But at the beginning, it's really a much more reverential kind of treatment. And then the solo. So you get the feeling. Then there's another verse. Then it goes a little quicker on the third verse. My God gave it to me. I'm going to let it shine. And then it comes to the very ending. I'll try to give you the feeling of what happens. At the very last page, the solo sings, In my home, all over the world. And then the choir sings, Let it shine, fortissimo. Shine. Mezzo forte, shine, mezzo piano, shine, pianissimo. Music of Moses Hogan. Have a wonderful day.